What's up, you guys? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Grab your vices, chill out, and as always, let's get straight to it. Um, this is episode 17 of Straightforward with Miss B, along with guest co host AG. What's up, AG? Hey, man, ain't that moving but the money, man. Ain't that moving but the money. I, I know that's right. Anyway, um, so. This week has been, seemed like it's been a lot going on in the news. Um, and outside of that, before we get into it, um, how was your weekend, man? Or your week? Oh, shit, I'm feeling kind of beat up right now. I was in Memphis last night at the game. What um, game? Memphis and Golden State, game two. Oh, okay. He's doing it big, huh? Yeah, my birthday Friday, so you know. Oh, okay. One of them type of days, one of them type of weeks. Right. Um, <laughs> how far is Memphis from Birmingham? Hmm, about three and a half. Oh, okay. And a half. Okay, that ain't no yeah, ain't that bad, bad ride Mm-mm. at all. I have never been to Memphis, but I've been to. I think I've been to Nashville. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I've been some. I've been to Knoxville. That's where I've been. In Tennessee, mm-hmm. but I definitely want to visit Nashville and Memphis as well. I heard the the food is good in both of those places. <laughs> and they still pimping. They pimping in Memphis, baby. Like <laughs> on the street. They doing hoes standing on the corner, mint, uh, pimping. Oh, on the corner in they car. They three hoes, hoes got cars now. <laughs> Oh my God! I did not know that. I thought the pimping game was on the internet. Yeah, I thought the pimping game was now on the internet on social media. Oh, they pimping strong. The hoes pimping up there. I ain't seen no niggas. I just seen the hoes. Real? Oh my God! You must have had somebody approach you. I mean, we sitting outside the hotel. We were downtown Bill Street. Mm -hmm. It's it's in plain sight. You ain't got to approach me. I see it. I'm looking. Oh wow! I see what you doing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> well, you know, Bill Bill Street is definitely a kind of tourist area as well. So oh, yeah, baby bourbon. Yeah, so they was in the right spot, then, I guess. And then after that game, when everybody filed out that game and shit, mm-hmm. you got seventeen thousand coming out the game, going straight on Bill. Oh shoot! You feel that motherfucker up so quick? Cause I ain't never like. Shit, three, four blocks at the most. Right. Dang. Yeah. Pimping ain't easy. You know, the the hoes got to get their money. That's for sure. You going in and out. Right. In and out. I wonder how many clients they get in the, no, in the night. You going in and out. I'm going in and out? Yes. Uh, Well, I should be. Okay. What about now? Do you hear me better now? Yes, I hear you a little bit better now. Okay, well, you need to sit your butt still. <laughs> so I won't go in and out. Because <laughs> you, oh, be, we'll you be moving around and stuff. Listen, we'll see what the people say. Okay, what the people say. <laughs> anyway. We'll see what the people say. Well, the people said, you know, and thank you to everybody who, you know, just take t- take time. It ain't got to be a lot of time out of your day, but just to take time to give us a listen to our podcast we have um been having some great feedback i appreciate um those individuals for reaching out letting us know that hey you know you guys are doing great um you know let me know which episode so far that they really liked um this previous episode episode 16 it seems like you know a couple of people get got their laugh on with us as well so Uh, We definitely appreciate the feedback, you guys, and all it does is just, you know, motivate us to keep, you know, keep going, you know, so we appreciate that. Um, So quickly, as far as my week goes, uh, what did I get into? Um, Not much. Um, Tried again to fool around with my hair. I tried to put some box braids in that didn't work, Um, but I ended up calling um, Bianca, who usually, you know, works with my hair um but she no longer lives in atlanta she lives in dallas now um so i call her to see when (laughs) when the next time she was gonna be here in atlanta (laughs) in atlanta so she could do my braids 
Um, so, you know, hopefully I'll be seeing her hopefully by next month to get my braids done. Outside of that, um, I visited her brother. Um, <clears throat> I won't say who, who, uh, their, their mom is, but her mom is a very, you know, successful person here, um, in Atlanta. Um, yeah, I can go on and say who their mama is. Um, my friend Gaucher, um, Gaucher Hawkins, if you ever visited Atlanta, uh, she has a couple of restaurants called the Gaucher's Breakfast Bar here. Um, I'm no telling what else she's gotten herself into as far as business-wise, but she used to be a hairstylist for many, many years, and she decided to get into the restaurant game. But anyway, so um, I'm pretty cool and close with her kids, um, and, you know, they they reached out to me. Uh, well, I reached out to Bianca. I always kind of every now and then reach out to her to check on her, but her son reached out to me. Um, because, you know, one thing about me is that I'm very business oriented, you know, the things that I do know, I know whether it's on the financial side or business side. And he reached out to me because he, um, basically has this new spot It's called, uh, Wonderland and it is a creative space, an Airbnb. I told him I'll give him a shout Hello. out on it. Go ahead. What is he doing? I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything where well, you want to hang up and call right nothing. back. Hang up and call right back. Hello. See this type. Of... <sighs> let me let me text him. Hang up and call right back. Hey, this is real time, you guys. Pretty much. Okay, so he got the message. Hang up and call back, idiot. <sighs> Let me just keep talking while I wait on him to call back. But anyway, um, so he has a creative space, Airbnb. Okay, here he goes. Um, what's up? Can you hear me better now? That's a lot better. Okay. Um, so he has a creative space, an Airbnb. His name is Brill, B-R-I-L-L. -L. Um, if you want to check him out on Instagram, it's B-R-I-L-L -L underscore the number six. And um, I wanted, he wanted to kind of pick my brain um, on a few things, um, you know, about his space, you know, how to get it up and running good, you know, and um, it's a very dope space. He's an artist and a uh, rapper as well. Um, you walk into the space, it's like a loft and, you know, he has murals that he's painted. He has pictures and it's just very, very dope. It's also a space that he used for his own podcast. Um, maybe one day we'll be able to maybe do a collaboration effort um, as far as the podcast go. But um, it's going to be a, a space where people can kind of rent out if you are an artist, if you are a videographer, say if you are, um, you know, people a model, you know, you could just come get go into a dope space, take your photos, shoot your music videos. You can even have meetings if you're a small business owner as well. It's a pretty dope space. It's in downtown Atlanta in the Emmett Park area, which everybody knows is a very alternative lifestyle slash um, artsy type of um, area here in Atlanta. Um, so definitely, um, you know, shout out to Brill. And um, I def definitely appreciate that he, um, you know, wanted to just reach out to me for some advice. Um, but outside of that, what we should have done, if we could have done, maybe we should have reached out to Black China and her her, her legal team um, to give her some, some, some good advice, you know, because recently it came out. We talked about it last week, how she was trying to sue the Kardashian clan um, because they basically, you know, caused her um, reality show, the second season, to be canceled. Um, but, hey, the judge said and the people, the jurors said, no, ma'am. Um, and uh, she lost the $100 million lawsuit against them. Um, but what is what is crazy is that, you know, her mom, her mom is named Tokyo Tony, and she's she's a wild one if anybody has ever came across any videos of Tokyo Tony. But, you know, she was there supporting her daughter. The judge, I believe, after the first day kicked Tokyo Tony out, said she couldn't come back in the courtroom, so she started staying outside, you know, 
giving her little tidbits to TMZ and stuff. But Tokyo Tony says she going to ride for her daughter no matter what. And she has started a GoFundMe um, so that uh, she could they can, you know, have some financial assistance with the appeal process because Black China does plan on appealing. So what what you think about the situation, man? Save your money. <laughs> <laughs> Save your money, Black China. You just call them a clan, goddamn. You ain't finna be able to do nothing with them people. You ain't finna get out of them. Right. <laughs> you changed it to a million dollars. Hey. From a hundred million to a million. I don't want it with a million. Right. Can, we get, can you give me a million? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think the GoFundMe is like I think they asking for three hundred or four hundred thousand dollars, but I don't know. We'll see how that GoFundMe they go. They just hungry. They just hungry. Yeah, they yeah, they they not the, they not gonna appeal the process. They just probably gonna take that little GoFundMe money and blow it. Blow it. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So getting into our main topics here. Um. The Met Gala had their annual uh, ball or gala, same thing to me. Um, and it was a lot of, you know, fashion looks that were questionable to us, at least to me, um, from the pictures that I saw. Um, as far as, like, we we'll talk start off with the good good looks, everybody who was dressed good. Um, let's see. Future. I like the Cardi B outfit. Yes, I love the Cardi B outfit. I love how the gold... Was just, her gold stood out more to me than Megan Thee Stallion's um, choice of gold. Um, I feel like Cardi B, she did that. She did that in that Versace dress for real. She Her makeup was on point. I didn't too much care for the hair. The hair is kind of <laughs> like that boring prom wedding styled hair. I didn't really go for the hair. But as far as her, her overall, just the overall look, she definitely got all tens um, for me. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion, I think that her dress would have looked better if it was a brighter color gold. I feel like that washed color gold just kind of faded her out. It just, it didn't complement her skin tone at all. But I, I can see, you know, of course, the direction it was going, you know, going with the style of the dress. So I wish she would have did a little bit better um, on her dress choice there. Um, you said something about hair. What do you think about Kim's Kardashian's hair? <laughs> uh, what I think about it? Well, you know, they they. I saw something online today. Well, her dress is supposed to be the same dress that Marilyn Monroe wore back in the day when she sung for um, the president. I believe it was what Kennedy at the time. Yeah, sixty years ago. Right. I'm like, okay, whatever, man. You know, here she go trying to make some type of statement, make sure she's on front page of, you know, all the press yeah. magazines and stuff. And then I saw something today where I guess a historian or a museum actually gave her, they gifted her a lock of Marilyn Monroe's blonde hair. Oh, and that's what that's supposed to be? <laughs> Yes, because, you know, blonde hair was Mal Marilyn Monroe's signature look. But to give her a lock of her hair is like, oh, my God, really? But, you know, I guess the blonde little pushback, uh, you know, ponytail bun that she was rocking at the Met Gala, it was safe, I would just say. you want Nothing spectacular. It was just safe. I mean, I could see how she wanted to really give off the overall, you know, Marilyn Monroe uh, persona. Um Future. I think future choice was good with the shorts instead of doing long pants with the gilded look. You know, I really like future. Um, who else? Um, Lizzo. Lizzo was safe. She looked all right. She had one of those big flowing um, overcoats, you know, black and gold. And the only thing I could think of was Rihanna kind of did that. A few years ago, if anybody go back and look in the Matt Geller archives, um, she had that big gold, like, overcoat type of thing with the long train connected to it. Um, so that was kind of already done, been there, done that. Uh, let me see. Who was uh, outside of M Megan? Trying to think of anybody who else just kind of stood out for Joshua me. Joshua Jackson's wife. 
Who? Joshua Jackson. <clears throat> he got the black girl. She had that Gucci on. I ain't see it was that. Like a two piece swimsuit with the. Ooh. I mean, it, was, it ain't no swimsuit. Mm hmm. It's the one of them type of outfits. Right. With a long train. Mm. He got my black. Like she might be a model or something. Right. Um, yeah, I didn't see that one. Um, Lala, Anthony, shout out to Lala. Um, her look, I don't know. Her her look kind of missed the step. I think the fitting of her dress was not right, especially around that part. Because it kind of looked, the top was sort of like a, a one-piece kind of, you know, mm. G, not G string look, but kind of like that gave the bathing suit type of feel. But then there was a wrap around skirt added to it, and I think it was something going on there with the skirt where it kind of just made made it look like the fitting wasn't good on it. Um, so that's the only thing that I was, um, you know, like uh, okay, Sierra, she was safe as far as her dress goes. Um, I'm trying to think of any other guys. Oh, Ghana. I really like Ghana. Ghana stood, he stood to the to the dress code. The Gilded Era is like the late 1800s um, style of fashion back then. I don't know if people look at Bridgerton. That's a series on Netflix. And on that, it's a, um, you know, 1870s Gilded Era, you know, type of show. But if you look at that show, then that's kind of what the high fashion look was supposed to be for the Met Gala. Uh, so some people got it right. Some people kind of just missed. You could tell some people was definitely last minute, just said, fuck it, I'm just going to go. Get, just give me something. Pull me something off the rack. Um, Nicki Minaj, what you think about Nicki Minaj look? Um, With the hat and the belted I like it. dress. I liked it. You know, I like Nicki Oh, whatever okay. she got on. Okay, so I you just say it. whatever she got on, it don't even matter. Uh-uh. <laughs> I feel you. Um, Nikki, 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 Nikki. I think the look, I'm a hat girl. Um, everybody that know me, I love hats, all type of hats, baseball caps, whatever, fedoras. I like the hat. Um, it always does something different. It gives, you know, gives a look of extra little punch. Um, I just think that I don't know. I just feel like she she's gotten to the point where she has that mommy, grandwoman, you know, not grandwoman, grown woman weight on her. So it kind of definitely looked like she was stuffed at the top a little bit, you know. <laughs> she, <laughs> she like she was about to bust. Somebody <laughs> said, I heard somebody. Well, I saw somebody on the uh, social media, and they said, um, "Stick Nicki Minaj looked like she had every single." Mo from Morgan Freeman's face on her oh, body. Yeah, what is that like? A, what is that? that got, what is that crap she got on? I don't like know. A, it probably be, it was like some some Worski crystals or something. I don't know. Some B dazzles. I don't know yeah, what that. it was. I didn't. I didn't. I ain't like that. I. I, I yeah, didn't. I look at it again. I don't kind of don't like that. Eight <laughs> ball hat. You got a leather hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The was killing me. <laughs> Man, people are so she cruel. Got two gallons. She got a gallon in each tit of milk. Hey, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, Nikki, your tit is about the size of that. You need to get there. Let a gallon go, goddamn. Like them all. Them, they big, <laughs> yo. So uh, you yeah. can tell she's still kind of probably working off, you know, working off that baby weight from her son and, you know. Yeah, she definitely got that grown woman weight on her. But shout out to Nikki. She's still, you know, still pretty, still doing her thing. Um, but speaking of, we was talking about, you know, Kim and her look at the Met Gala. Um, she did arrive as well with her now new boyfriend, Pete Davidson, um, the comedian on Saturday Night Live. And what was kind of in the news um, was that he tattooed... Kim and Kanye's, their kids' initials on his neck. Ugh. Now, that's, 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 no, there was a actual picture. I seen the picture. You saw the picture, they, but they you don't, don't believe it. it. They don't know what it stands for. Really. 
Come they on, came man. up with it. Come on, man. They say Kim and all the shit. Man, he had North, uh, the rest of Saint. They got a W and an S. Man. That's all it is is they first initial. Okay, and you think that's all right? You think that's okay? As yeah, a I, if you was a new boyfriend, would you do that? He got he got a brand of this girl. One of them like the cues you to put that cue on their arm. He got a name branded to him also. On yeah, him. and yeah, that's too much too. <laughs> At least from my opinion, I just think it's way, it's way Pete Davidson, baby. You're doing too much. You're making a statement. What statement? Let's see, whatever he got as him, the statement got Man, that man ain't going to stay with Kim forever. That man just playing around. Well, he playing a role there. He playing the hell out of it. (laughs) (laughs) He is. Right, he is playing the hell out of it because Pete Davidson, Kim ain't staying with no Pete Davidson for the rest of her life. That ain't just, that ain't her M.O. Everybody loves Pete. Do you do you see the interview? He's so genuine. He's so <laughs> and Pete Davidson is is a known self professed mental case as well. He deals That's with mental mental health issues. You like tell you you think you crazy? I'm crazy too. Shoot, I think that's just. I don't know. For people that's listening in, don't you think that's too far? Like, why would you tattoo the initials? I was, okay, maybe I could let it slide if Pete and Kim were married and he decided to pay homage to his quote-unquote stepkids and put their initials, you know, on his body. But as boyfriend and girlfriend, I mean, they only been dating, what, a couple of months? Oh yeah, that month's going by quick. It's almost going to be a year coming up. Man, I just feel like Pete is just taking it to the level. I mean, taking it to the next level. I think that he, he taking is taking it to the Kanye level. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, maybe. True. With each other. Yeah, maybe. But you know, Kanye say he Kanye is supposedly with a, a therapist. That's why we haven't heard from him uh, on the net. Uh, so he's taking some time off, but I wonder how he feels about these tattoos. I really believe us, believe me, you. We gonna hear about how he feels about these tattoos at ain't some point. No better, cause Pete, Pete, that's the reason why he's doing it, trying to get something out of Kanye. A reaction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't see it. Oh no, I can see it. That's what antagonizing is all about. You're trying to get a reaction out of somebody. Yeah, I can see it. But I just think my own personal opinion, it was just that's just too much. That's doing too much. Um, and I don't know. If I was dating someone and he decided to put my kids' initials on his neck and we we're not married, that would be somewhat of a turn off for me. But you know, Kim seems as though she just kind of she she has this gullibleness about her when it comes to certain men that she, you know, is infatuated and 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 and. Has she ever been with a white guy before? Pete Davidson. I'm just saying. Other than Pete. <laughs> 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 What's her history with the black? No, with the white remember, guy? remember. I think the only other white guy that I can remember her being with is that football player that she had married and and then. They got a, a no man or he something. All, he was mixed. Basketball, he yeah, that's what it was. Basketball. He was all yeah, he might have been mixed. Yeah, that that lasted what twenty four hours. That marriage, forty eight hours. He yeah. lost the ring in the ocean. Child, a miss. Anyway, so Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, poor Dave Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle. Um, some fool done attacked Dave Chappelle at his comedy show. They ran on stage, and apparently they had some type of, you know, concocted weapon, a gun slash knife, um, and tried to try to take Dave Chappelle up out of here. How you feel about that? Hey, you know who started all this? <laughs> you to blame for all every comedian get slapped and harassed for now. Oh my god! Comedian and fucked it up for the comedian. <laughs> so now you think hecklers is just gonna keep running up on them? 
Talk about me if you want to, nigga. I'm going down and slap the shit out you. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think comedy kind of finna be over with. No, I don't know it ain't. I don't think <laughs> comedy is never going anywhere. But yeah, apparently okay. the the twenty something year old. I'm seeing that they saying that they're a trans. I don't know if it's a trans man or trans woman, but anyway, um, apparently he got beat up real bad. Did you see the pit the after photos of him? No, I didn't see it. But he don't sue him because you don't supposed to beat trans folks. <laughs> No, they. I don't think they beat them people. He he ain't gonna win nothing in that lawsuit. They gonna rally behind him and, and go against Dave Chappelle. Mm-mm. The way they whooped that man so bad. When you see that photo, remember? Have you were you looking at Martin Lawrence back in the day, the Martin show oh, yeah. when he <laughs> got beat up? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I gotta go look at that. He had the goddamn man. The when you see that picture, you gonna be like, "What the fuck?" I mean, his his shoulder, like what his shoulder was, goddamn popped out of place. His it was oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I feel for him. I really do. You gotta check that picture out. Um, outside of that, what's other major news? Um. The Supreme Court, um, it was some documents that got leaked um, regarding um, the justices uh, possibly overturning Roe versus Wade um, decision, which was giving abortion rights to women. Um, That's a very heavy topic. Um, I myself, you know, hope that they don't overturn that decision. Um, I, you know, I just feel like women, it, it, it's our bodies, you know, it's our bodies. We should be able to do what we want to do with them. And, um, it's a sad thing. Now you're seeing, you know, you're seeing, um, a lot of rallies and protests starting to pop up, you know, women, women's rights organizations are ge- banding together, um, to try to protest this. Uh, we definitely you know, just don't want to see this happen because, you know, it's just it's just going to affect a lot of people negatively. And um, Biden, I believe Biden just spoke about it as well. Um, he believe it's just all part of, you know, this MAGA um, campaign and the Republicans. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting to see what else happened with this for sure. Did you have any thoughts well, on that? The difference between that and how they... This is, well, I don't know, um, so let me get this right. I think I'm going to answer my own question. Mm -hmm. Right now they got the law where it's it's illegal after a certain certain many months, right? Certain many weeks? Certain states. I believe the state of Texas imposed that law maybe a couple of months ago, and I believe Florida as well. So after you... I don't know the number of weeks. I don't remember. Maybe 16 weeks. Um, if you aborted your child after that time frame, then you will be basically, you know, held liable to that um, and could face, I believe it's a felony charge for that. Um, so, yeah. Well, what I heard Some states, that's not every state, though, that practice that particular law. No. Well, I heard on this morning on the news where they said, by this law, we're gonna have more black kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. That's the reason why they want to do it. They say we're gonna have more black kids. Hmm. Yeah, I. It's just so many conspiracy theories kind of around this. Um, I've all, and I think I might have spoke about this some, some episodes ago. I just feel as though you know there was a, a large number of people who passed away due to this COVID pandemic. And I just feel as though maybe the economy maybe lost too many human bodies during this, and they need to replenish those bodies. So why not, you know, overturn abortions and basically force people to have kids, no matter what the circumstance, what, no matter if they got raped or whatever the case may be, let's force people to have kids. Mm. Really, but that's my own little conspiracy about it. But um, let's see. Instagram, Instagram. I swear to God, Facebook, Instagram, Mark Zuckerberg. Anytime another social media app 
you know, is is doing good and they have features that, you know, society seems to enjoy, they always steal in the features. They stolen so many features. They stole features from like Snapchat. They stolen features from Twitter. And now apparently they are stealing um the real reels, R E E L S um video, kind of like the algorithm feature um that TikTok has. And they plan on implementing that um on Instagram. You know, Instagram was more of a photo sharing app, but then over the years it evolved into, you know, allowing people to upload videos. Um and then they started with um they brought on the re- the reels the r e e l s which is similar to tiktok but there was like a button on instagram where you can press to to go and see the reels it wasn't like as soon as you opened the app you would see reels you know what i mean you had to There's actually There's so many of them on there now though if you if you hit one you on them now you know what i'm saying it made it well that's the thing to get to them. right that's the thing. The algorithm now that they set on Instagram and people are creating reels more and more and more is making it now to where they're automatically popping up. But it wasn't necessarily part of what their algorithm, you know, um, yeah, thing that was. Just started happening a few months ago, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw the change yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I yeah, was like, what the it. hell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, like, I'm saying so much of this. I get caught up in this. Right, right. I first started. I started seeing it on Instagram because I enjoy TikTok, right? And mm-hmm. and I would basically whatever you know videos I put on my TikTok, I'll upload them to my Instagram, and I'll go to my Reels page on Instagram, you know, and see all my little videos. Then all of a sudden, I start seeing the Reels coming down my timeline on my homepage on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute now. And then I went on Facebook and I see Facebook, Facebook got reels and stories and stuff too. I'm like, wait a minute. You ain't even got to go to the store no more. Right. Mine mine was, didn't even have the story up there. It had (laughs) reels. Well, your Facebook. You know, Facebook is supposed to start off on story, but mine started off on reels. Now I had to put it back on story. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and then Facebook is so it's so damn congested now. It's like you don't really know what buttons to press on Facebook. Especially if you have multiple pages. Like for me, I have my personal, you know, page and then I have the podcast page. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do I get to my podcast page? You know, so I can <laughs> make sure shit uploaded. It's just like, what the hell, Facebook? <laughs> like, y'all got too much stuff going on. And then they talking about, mind you, Facebook just start letting pot, full podcast, um, you know, audios to be uploaded to Facebook. Maybe I'll say the latter part of last year, right? They already putting out June 1st. They going to stop letting podcast audios, um, like the full episodes, to be placed on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, Lord. They stop putting full episodes or anything. They break them down into sections now. Mm. They're like four minutes. Make sure you watch all of them. That's oh like more God. views. Yeah. I, I noticed that because my partner who cut my hair, he always be looking at the, all the podcasts and stuff. Uh-huh. And now you can't see a whole podcast in one sitting because you got to go to the like they got like four or five minute clips. Yeah. And they got them named, talking about what they talking about in mm-hmm. that in that segment. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Well well, it don't even matter. Because we, we everywhere else, you know, so um so anybody can go to YouTube, everywhere, Spotify, Apple, they can go anywhere else and get, you know, listen in on the podcast. But I did want to make it you know, I like the fact that Facebook has started doing that, and you know, then shit, shit is about to be gone now. So, oh well, Facebook, y'all need to, y'all need to figure it out, figure it out. And um, Instagram, I guess, you know, it is what it is. As a society, we, it's like if we want to participate and be on it and keep up with our friends and family and shit like that, we gonna have to just bow down and. <laughs> Bow down and, and deal with it. Yeah, bow down and deal with it. But anyway, so that's the end of our podcast today, everybody. Mm-hmm. 
We do appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, you know, our subscribership and people that follow us continues to grow. Um, so we definitely want to send appreciation to you guys. Um, you want to say bye bye? Happy Cinco de Mayo tomorrow, my birthday Friday. To all my Latino and brothers and sisters. Yes, my Panamanians, my Mexicans, everybody. Celebrate tomorrow. I will be out drunk as well. And happy birthday to you, AG, on tomorrow. And um, don't forget to follow us, you guys. You know, straightforward with Miss B on all streaming platforms and on social media at straightforward MSB. And until next time. Peace.